morning we want to appreciate the name of the lord for what he is doing amidst us indeed we have seen god's faithfulness if you look around you you bear witness how the enemy is fighting to spoil our testimony but indeed every day we come out with victory for he has made us more than conquerors are there conquerors in the house are there victorious people in the house come on lift those hands to heaven and just worship him and say lord thank you for i am victorious come on declare the promises of god over your life and and, and like a son and, like, and a daughter of the kingdom stand your ground and say yes the lord is good to me the lord has been faithful to me my eyes have seen his goodness oh i worship you master thank you for all you do for me thank you my eyes have seen your faithfulness I am among those whom you have shown your favor. I'm among those whom you have shown your mercy. I am not in a hurry to forget where you have brought me from. Oh, where you have brought me to and where you are taking me to. Oh Lord, I thank you. I thank you for indeed eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Neither has it entered the heart of men, the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Ratapo shakateli balahatai, esotane mankata leborodosha. I can hear you thank the Lord. Can you lift up those voices to God and magnify His name? Thank Him for all He's done for us. As a church, we cannot deny the faithfulness of God. We cannot deny the goodness of God over this holy assembly. Rate pakato shabratalia, esi sone tene manko te mananatia, rapata shabelatai. My mouth would make its boast in the Lord, for the Lord is good unto me and His mercies endures forever. Ashala mandele ko paratate, rakita palitano sapele tebash, rapata pakoto pokoto polokoto ya. In Jesus' mighty name, we are still giving thanks. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 30 and in verse 19, it says, And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry, and I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. And so we see the implication of thanksgiving unto God is that there is multiplication. Multiplication in numbers, in numerical strength, and in everything that can be quantified. So once more, we want to give thanks to God. Remember how he has helped your family. I am a beneficiary of God's mercy. You too, you are a beneficiary of God's mercy. Remember those things he has done for you. And on account, account of that, begin to give him thanks once again. He preserved your going out. He preserved your coming in. He sustained your loved ones. He healed your infirmities. He helped you when you were weak. He made you strong when you have no strength. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Kabola Shabradani Montelebasia. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Just one more thing we're going to do now before we enter into our worship section. It is, it is so bad when you come into the presence of the Lord without an expectation. So I just want you to heighten up your expectation this morning for a miracle, for a visitation of the Lord. As I read this portion of scripture to us, Isaiah chapter 25 and in verse 4. sorry verse 6 the bible says and in this mountain shall the lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things a feast of wines on the lees of fat things full of marrow of wines on well on lees well refined so on this mountain god has prepared fat things for you god has prepared marvelous things for you 
can you begin to by faith and say lord i reach out to everything you have prepared for me by faith i connect to everything you have prepared for me this morning no nothing will be missing for me lord i will not live here empty-handed my mouth shall be full of fat things can you make declarations lord i will not live here empty-handed i will eat of the fat things you have prepared for me in the name of jesus thank you father in jesus mighty name we have prayed somebody shout amen, amen. can we lift up our hands and give god praise this morning is deserving of all the glory father we adore you Oh, Rabako Paratos Yanabalasha Gabara Dothina. Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we extol you. Jesus, we exalt you. Great and mighty King, we adore your glorious name. We honor your name. Mighty man of honor, we exalt you. You reign, O Zion's King. Blessed be your name, O God. For the past seven days, the Lord has sustained you and your family. Can you just raise your sound of worship to Him this morning? Oh Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we will magnify you. Oh, your grace has found us just as we are. Empty and but alive in your hands. found us just as we are empty and but alive in your hands singing, singing majesty we've come to hallow the majesty majesty can you cry my You've come before the King of Kings this morning. The King of all we know, oh, we worship you. Majesty. Can you cry out, Majesty? Majesty. Lord, we lift your name on thy Majesty. Majesty, Majesty. We face the King of Glory. Empty-handed, 
need more the life, more the life in your hands. How many of us agree with us is by His grace that we are alive this morning? It is not by our power, it is, more, it is not by our capacity. It is by the power in the hands of Jehovah. Can you raise your hands? Your grace is found below. Yes, to you. Empty your name. And I put a life in your hands. Say your grace is found for me. You took you from the mighty clay. Empty your name. Lift your voice and say, Majesty, Majesty, Majesty.
one cylinder is around 20,000 now. In our ICU, if they are going to admit you, you are going to deposit like 300,000 per day, 400,000, and you must pay. Yes, government hospital. Bed rest, 20,000 per bed. Can you lift up your hands? You are not on your speech to bed this morning. We are not passing oxygen for you. You are taking the field of charge. Can you thank the Lord? Say thank you, Jesus. Without the instrument, say thank you, Lord. We spend like six million now, and we are not still sure whether the person will survive it. Every day, almost every day, from the ICU, you see people dying. Beautiful, and they spent money. So I want you to understand that you are alive, that you can move your leg. Every of your part, every part of your body is working perfectly. It's because the Lord has sustained you. It is not because of your power. You will see people. Beautiful, handsome people. They will bring them dead on the river. And you look at them. And you look at them. Can you lift your hands, everybody? So thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. Thank you are not in the world. You are not in the country. You are not on your spiritual world.
the president of Nigeria. We are not bowing before the president of the world. We are bowing before the king of kings. The Lord of Lords. The Lord of Shah. The bright and morning star. The Lord who is a battle that fight in the gate.
Hallelujah. If you understand that song, you will praise the Lord much more this morning. That means year. How do we translate that now? Yeah. Year after year. Muadupe ore atoshu moshu. Month after month. Muadupe ore iba gogo. You know, the mercies of God said they are new every month. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise this morning. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your tender mercies. To you alone, Lord, be all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's say good morning to our neighbors as we majestically have our seat this morning. Once again, we are welcome to church. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Our God is good. And all the time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's testimony time. Do we have testifiers in our midst this morning? God has done something good for you. God has done something good for all of us. That's the truth. Because we can stand, you know, you can imagine the, the scenario that uh, Bakredi was given as he was ministering. People are dying every day. But God has kept us. Both the young, both the old. But God has preserved each and every one of us. It is only by the mercies of God. It's not really by how beautiful you are, truly. It's not by how much money that we have. It's just the mercies of God that we have enjoyed. So if you want to testify, I know Brother Collins has raised up his hand. So number one, I guess the peace number two. Well, Toby number three. Any other testifiers? Okay, let's, okay, four. Okay, so I think we'll go. Is there someone raising up from that hand? Okay, so let's quickly have this. Let's celebrate Brother Collins. Bye-bye, Ejima. As he comes forward, hallelujah. Ejima. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, that song Mommy raised over um Demi no re Oluwa. It's just me, your boy God, like me like this. I don't know. Um a year ago like this. I didn't I don't know that I'll be where I am like this. Yes, it's 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 just barely a year. I, last year I was alone celebrating my birthday. Now I am nice. <laughs> that um, I've been expecting God and God did not release you. Amen. There were things I waited on the Lord. You see, it is not yet time and it seemed as if I was running late. But then God did it in his own way and you can only look back and say this is the finger of God. I just want to bless the name of the Lord. Even in my place of work, the promotions I've been receiving and the help I've been receiving from all around. I want to bless the name of the Lord for adding one more year to me. I clock uh, another year on the 15th of August. I just want to bless the name of the Lord for giving me a sweet woman, a sweet wife, a sweet, sweet daughters. You know, sweet everything. I just want to bless the name of the Lord. That to him who has done all these things, he has surrounded me with songs of joy. To him alone be all the glory and honor. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And that sweetness will continue in the name of Jesus. Many more sweetness will come in the mighty name of Jesus. And may the Lord make our lives sweet 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's have the second testifier, Sister Peace. Let's celebrate God as she comes forward. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to thank God for his love upon my life, for saving my life, for saving my soul. On Tuesday morning, I, I was preparing breakfast, so I needed to ground the, um, the crayfish I was using. So I went to get the manual blender. While doing that, it broke. And I did not know that a little blade, just, just small, very, very strong blade, got into the crayfish. So I checked it, but there was nothing like that inside because I, 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 I saw it and I just tried selecting everything, but there was nothing like that. When I cooked, I prepared the food. After cooking the food, I dished it out for my son. I told him to feed himself. So I don't know, something in me just said, ah, why not feed him? If I was just reluctant to even feed himself, this one that if you give him the food, he would just pounce on it and start eating by himself. So he was feeling reluctant, he didn't want to feed himself, but I said, okay, we'll bring it, bring it to the, um, to the bedroom, I'll feed you, and he brought the food. While eating it, I was feeding him, and suddenly he told me he, he didn't want the game, like he was okay, because I wasn't even eating the food as at that point, then I said, no, it's the remaining one. The first one I took, it was that plate, it was that plate. Thank God because I did not even swallow it safe. I just thank God for saving us that day. I said, God, what would have been the story? I was just thanking God. I was thanking God. I called my husband. I said, please help me thank God. I called my mom, please help me thank God. I don't know how to thank this God again. I just thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will continue to preserve us in the name of Jesus. It will preserve our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. The top testifier this morning, Sister Tess. Abby, oh, sorry. Yeah, Father Toby. <laughs> Maybe God wants you to testify, you know. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So, I've come here to do my part because I was here when we had that program, I can't remember the name. Forty days old. Yes, the last day. I have testimony. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I was here. I didn't participate so much in that. Because you see, first of all, I'm tired of my job. I'm not going to lie. It's taking so much of my time. You know when they say, the more you grow, the more you do something, it should get easier. Right, but this one is not like that. By God's grace, I'm like nine years at the bar. Why should I be the one going for magistrate matters? Why should I be the one? It's just so I was here and I was like, Look, oh, I also want to get married, right? Yes, and I'm in Abuja today, I'm in Ibadan tomorrow, I'm in Nondo next tomorrow. That's not how I imagined my life to be. And I cried. I was here, I was very emotional that day, very focused, such that. Even while the songs were getting very emotional, I was crying, I was right there. And I told God and I said, look, I want a new job. I want a new job. And I told him silently, I said, look, oh, if you do this for me, I will come here to testify. I was almost tempted to send my testimony to the group chat, probably they will read it here. Then, and I told myself, am I trying to wine God. I thought I told him that I will come here personally. On the Tuesday of that Saturday, I got a call. I submitted my my applications. I mean, months before that time. Nothing is forthcoming. So I got a call that morning on Tuesday and the person said, okay, they want to schedule me for, a, for an interview on Friday. Don't worry, very good company. Although, she said something and he said, although the position is for a lady, they are looking for one lady. And you know, just like NNPC, they are looking for one person, 50 people will apply, right? They are looking for a lady. However, my TV is too good to put aside. Let me come and try my best. So I came in on Friday. I did the interview. Two weeks later, one week later, nothing is coming. They called me again. Did I pass? Yes, second stage. I went for it. 
third stage, I went for it. It now went, it now became medical screening. Now, I did medical screening and no calls from them. Toby, are you not medically fit? What is the problem? I don't even drink anymore. I don't. What's the problem? What's the problem? Lo and behold, I got a call last week, last week, Thursday, that I have been, I have been given an offer. I have two weeks to round up and pack my things from my current work. I'm so happy. And I remember when the minister of God sang a particular song. And he said, you will come back here to sing that song as your testimony. I'm not so much of a singer, but I will just... Movo bito ti mumi bo Muro nu jile Imo she mokpe wa Movo bito mumi te o She mokanda bi ala lo jubi Iwo lo kwenta siyo Iwo lo kwenta siyo Iwo lo kwenta siyo Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Woo! Awesome! Awesome God! Hallelujah! And many more testimonies will come from that event in the name of Jesus. We had an awesome testimony here last week about the 40 Days Anointing Regiment, and this is another one. I know I've given mine. We've been giving back to back like that, so. Obed, uh, <laughs> Obed is, uh, is, is, is continuous, is rolling in, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, do we have the last? List? Yes. Let's celebrate God as she comes forward, hallelujah. everybody have been singing song this morning <laughs> so this song also came to my spirit while just coming to church this morning and it just ministered to what um to the amazing things god is doing i don't i don't really know the song but i don't know if you know you can just join me and sing it powerful indeed. I didn't really know everything but I know that it's for me. Praise God. So God really has been great. I've been seeing his hand in my life in every stage, in every in every move. I just want to bless the name of the Lord and just to share one of you know, what God has done. You know, my one of my sister's store that I manage um, I've been getting reports that the sales figures has not been very good and so on the um, Wednesday night before we started the evening prayer in the prayer band so I just had this short intercessory prayer for the for the store and so the next day on Thursday after church I went back so when I got back I couldn't really because I got back late time had gone already so one of the um, staff behaved in a nasty way you know that one left so on the following day on Friday I got reports so I didn't know that the sales figure on Thursday improved for that particular store. So on Friday, it got better. So when I saw her on Saturday, the Holy Spirit was telling me that this testimony I have started, don't go and let your annoyance to this person that is behaving, go and cut it short. You know, so that one was just coming to my head. So I just want to thank God that since that, after that prayer on Wednesday, I just discovered that 
it has been back to back sales thursday friday saturday and i just want to thank god in advance because it's going to continue it will get better and better and better in the name of Jesus. and i also want to thank god for every other thing that he's doing i will still come i will be coming back to share more more in jesus name hallelujah hallelujah is this god not awesome you want us to rise up to our feet this morning and thank God for all this. Oh, Mr. Maka, you didn't raise up your hand. Okay, please make it very brief. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've been sitting down there contemplating whether I should testify or not. Well, I said, if I don't testify, I must be an ungrateful human being. God has been faithful to me, a place of work. Everything about me, God has been faithful. Many of you were here when I testified about my son that got missing. Is it just nearly a year that he got back? So when he got back, he was just struggling. We advised him to come and stay with me and learn trade. He was just saying he will come, he will think about it. We didn't see him. He was working. Every month he would ask me for money. I was just like, how long will this be? I keep telling him, come and learn trade. So it's better for you. At least you have a secure future. He didn't listen to any of us. So every month I keep sending money. Then when that uh, I, anointing um, 40 days, uh, prior, pastor prayed for children. I really didn't play with that uh, prayer. I devoted myself. I prayed for him. Then also every night I wake up for, and pray for him. A cousin of mine that is a pastor called me, uh, let, me uh, let me say around uh, May this year and said he ha she has prayed for this boy that that boy has a great future and that's why the devil is toiling with him. We should engage in 21 days night vigil, which he did. From that day onward, after we finished, I took it upon myself every night. I prayed for him because once uh, the mistake our parents did, some, especially my own parents, they just give birth and they just say that whatever they brings. They don't devote their time to pray for that child's future. But I said I will not make that kind of mistake. Since that day, I devote my night. I said, go take away sleep. I take my time, even if it's 30 minutes, one hour, I pray for him. From uh, after Easter, he's supposed to come during Easter to visit me. He couldn't make it. So after Easter, I became sick. So one day I called him, I said, he didn't come to see me, he didn't bother to call. Your mother has been sick. He said, Lily, he was so touched. He said, send me a account number. I said, for what? He said, send me a account number. <laughs> I laughed. I was just, I thought it was a joke. When he keep uh, persisting, I have to send the account number. He sent 30,000. I said, what? Where did he get this money? He said, don't worry, I'm doing two types of job. Don't worry, I'm okay. I said, in this economy, he said, don't worry. You know. Sometimes weekend like this, you will send 5,000, 10,000. I was just like, how come? This money is, is a lot that woke me up. That's why I just have to testify. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I have one particular account I gave him to be saving money. He sent 150,000 there. I said, what? He said 25,000 for me to use. I said, God. May his name alone be highly exalted Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. And lastly, I want to thank God for the sound, that he, the sound health they are giving to him. Since I gave birth to him, I have never taken him to hospital. But till today, he's always sound and healthy. I say may God's name be highly exalted forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. And I always pray that the grace that works for Pastor Dio should work for him. And I can see that the grace is still working. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Awesome testimonies. Let's rise up as we begin to thank God this morning for all those testimonies. Is it the multiplication? Is it the changed life? Is it the, the, the way God tripled, you know, the blessing for our callings and speed for speed? Let's just begin to appreciate God this morning. And you know, I want us to sing, uh, before, we, before we go further, there's a scripture, you know, that we meditating been upon. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 20. You know, from the King James Version. It says, For he shall not much remember the days of his life, because God answered him in the joy of his heart. God answers, you know, in relation to the joy of your heart. So the state of our heart matters. 
So are you, is your heart filled with thanksgiving this morning? Even though you have not come out to testify, but God has done something in your life. So begin to thank God for those testimonies this morning. Thank God for your own. Thank God for the ones that has been shared. For the changed life. Lord, we give you praise this morning. Lord, we thank you for the new job. We thank you. Oh, for adding to our years. We thank you. Lord, we give you praise for sound elder. For soundness of elder. For soundness of mind. We give all the glory to you this morning. We do not take any of this for granted. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you for that which you have done in our lives and that which you will still do in the mighty name of Jesus. Said eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man. That which you will do. These ones we have shared, eyes have seen it. So the ones that are coming, eyes have not seen it. And so Father, we thank you. We thank you for ears have not heard it. It has not entered into the heart of man. That which you will do for each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we give you praise this morning. For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We can be on our feet in the presence of God. I mean, you can be on your seat rather. Sit like a queen in the presence of your Father. Amen. And welcome to church. So, we, the kingdom, uh, royal worshippers, we have come this morning to give God praise and to give God worship. We are here to remind you. <laughs> we are here to remind you that God is King. So, in the Yoruba language, they call him Oba. Oba, Oba, Oba. That's King. Amen. So we are here to remind you of His kingdom that reigns forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as you listen, may you remember that.
Daddy, we give you praise. The king that is reign never comes to an end. You've reigned. You are reigning. You will continue to reign. You are the king that enthrones other kings. And you have the capacity to dethrone the one who you want to dethrone. Father, we worship you. You are the one that caught the earth into existence and did. The things we see, you brought them out of the things that were not seen. And Father, we worship you this morning. We declare you and proclaim you indeed as king. Father, we worship you. The final authority, we worship you. The one that has the final say, we say thank you. The one whose reign is supreme. The unquestionable one. We give you praise. That we worship you. We thank you. Thank you. The king that cannot be dethroned. The king that never dies. Father, we worship you this morning. Lord, we worship you. We worship you as king. We recognize you as king. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Glory and honor be to your holy name. In Jesus' matchless name, we have worship. And Father, we pray this morning that your presence will permeate this atmosphere. In the name of Jesus Christ. That even as we look into your word this morning, we ask for the spirit of grace. That if we ask that your word indeed this morning will come with simplicity. In the name of Jesus Christ. That they receive grace, O oh God, to communicate your mind to your people. That each and every one of us who will receive your word, you will speak to each and every one of us in a way and manner that we will understand. That no one will be left out in this meeting today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that your word will break every rock in pieces this morning. In the name of Jesus, your word will bring clarity. Your word will bring instruction. Your word will bring direction. Your word will bring illumination. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Daddy, we give you praise. Glory and honor be to your holy name. In Jesus' matchless name, we have worship. Can I hear believe in Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. Hallelujah. You know, for me this morning, I want us to celebrate the choir one more time. God bless you for that wonderful, wonderful, wonderful ministration. Indeed, is the holy one that deserves to be called king. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, why I said that... Um, Indeed, there are kings and there are kings. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, I uh, was privileged to be born, you know, into a royal home. <laughs> and I remember, you know, when my dad passed, you know, in our culture, it is forbidden to say that the king has died. They will say the king, Obati Waja. Hallelujah. <laughs> but indeed, he has died. With all of the the glory, you know, the celebration, the everything, everything, the honor. But a time will come when the owner of the life takes it. You are wondering where was you know all those paparazzi? Hallelujah! But is it not awesome that we serve a king? We have a God. That his own reign does not come to an end. The God that never dies. People will come, people will go. But 
our God still remain the same. 